uh, Street Justice Saturday Nights with the dads. We're always a great time. Especially when it was Blue Light Dad. I'm from a street family. Means everyone in my family. There was more than one person over the years, except for me. And one dad, I called him Blue Light Dad because he always seemed to have this kind of a bluish light around him. Was there for Saturday Night Street Justice. It was great. Remember one time we were riding out over there in the station wagon, smoking that cigar. Had to roll down the window and he, he started talking. He said, Son, different folks all around the world have different ideas of what good street justice is and of what mean is. Let me tell you about these Indians. Some of them would take, when they'd won a battle and had these prisoners, they'd take them and they'd take some wet hide and they would stretch it around their, their heads, tight, real tight. Then they'd put them out there in, in the sun and let that hide dry. And it would tighten up and it would split their skulls. Now where's the fun in that, son? It's over just like that. I tell you, the guys with the rat, they really know how to, knew how to do things. I think there are a few still around. Depending on how slowly or quickly you turn that handle, it could be over in weeks or months. And, you know, at the end of all that, you had a torso. You could let folks witness for decades. They must have had good doctors back then. I never did know when, I still don't know when, Blue Light Dad is kidding or not. But I do know the streets, the top of the streets, have the best health care system around. They're going to keep you around for decades to show what happens, to keep you as an example of pain, of what not to do. Best health care around, except, you know, they don't have the pain meds. I'm John Mountain Brady. Document your mail to me to expose where that dangerous censorship of your phones comes from. And look for examples of street justice all around you. You'll see them if you're looking.